regions and its national organizations. Ambassador Aking Fayomi said the donation of the logistic items is in line with Nigeria's policy of promoting democracy and good governance in Africa. Our correspondent Linda Akibe reports. Liberia, a country still recovering from a devastating civil war. Monrovia, the capital city, still bears the scars of the war. But the people appear determined to put the past behind and move forward. Liberia is on the brink of another democratic transition. The streets of Monrovia are filled with posters and billboards of candidates for the upcoming general elections. Sixteen candidates are vying for the presidency, including the incumbent president Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. But the upcoming election is already generating tension in the country. In August this year, a controversial referendum to ratify four constitutional amendments passed by the legislature was held. One of the proposals in the referendum is that a 10-year residency requirement for presidential candidates should be reduced to five years. The opposition claimed that the referendum was tailored to favor the ruling party's candidate, President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, a sentiment shared by some Liberians. They, 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 they brought things out like we have no interest in. One, extend the Chief Justice stay in office from 70 to 75 which of course the people didn't agree upon however all four amendments were rejected at the polls there have also been reports of attacks of candidates for the elections on 15th august angry protesters attacked vice presidential candidate george Weir at his home he escaped unharmed but some liberians sold channels television but despite these problems we are willing to vote in elections to prevent a slide back into anarchy. I know many librarians now want to go back to where we're coming from. I'm a registered voter. I even got my card with me here. And then we are going to work with it because I don't want to lose it. Because it is my right. I fear many is, is there for the opposition. Because actually the way they are, they are blaming, you know, telling people that the, the, the president has imposed uh, gone to Nigeria and ask people and mercenary to come. You know, um, that's my fear. On its part, the head of the Liberian National Elections Commission said the commission has learned from the mistakes experienced in the last election and is working to ensure that the upcoming elections are credible. We realized that there was some uh, logistical problem in terms of retrieving the material at the close of the, uh, the pool. That we, 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 we are working on and we, we are very much uh, convinced that there will be no repetition of, of, of that. To further assist Liberia in a seamless democratic transition, the Nigerian government has given logistical materials to the electoral body. This donation we are making is in line with Nigeria's policy of promoting democracy and good governance as an instrument of achieving sustainable peace and economic development.